If there is one thing that makes your video stand out amongst other creators on YouTube, it is your thumbnail. You see, your thumbnail has the ability to draw viewers' attention not just to the videos you are showcasing, but also to remain glued to your channel. If you want to make your video go viral and to give it the ability to trend on YouTube where we have thousands of creators competing every single day on different niches, then you must master the technique of creating eye-catching thumbnails to grab viewers attention at first sight. Knowing these will help you a lot to create videos that will pull traffic to your channel and give you wide views that you will be like, wow, how did this happen? Hello guys, this is Stance Graphics. In this video, I'm going to show you how to design eye-catching glowing thumbnails using your Pixel application for your YouTube videos. This, I believe, will help you gain much views, especially on YouTube, where we have a lot of creators that are constantly in competition. So learn this today and create eye-catching thumbnails that will help you stand out of the competition and give you the much needed views that you want on YouTube. Don't go anywhere because this is for you. Okay guys, so welcome to Pixel App application. This is the app we are going to be using for designing this eye-catching thumbnail. Now once you launch your Pixel App application, I would love you to go to these three dots by your top right corner. And uh, on those three dots, what we are going to do is uh, simply to set a size. So now you can see by default we have a YouTube thumbnail which is on aspect ratio 16 by 9. And you can input these figures yourself 1280 by 720. You click OK and you are just going to go. Once you have achieved this, you want to now create your background. So we are going to begin with creating our background. Now, in this, uh, in the process of creating your background, you can uh, use a color or you can go for uh, textures that you can easily download from Pinterest or other design resources websites. But for today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create these glowing thumbnails with the help of uh, a color. Okay, so click on color. And uh, if you are joining us for the first time, please do well to subscribe to the channel and like this video. Okay, good. Now we're going to begin with um, this color. Okay, now click on the plus button. Once you select this purple, just click here on the plus button. We're going to readjust this to make it a little more darker and uh, brighter. Okay, now you can click OK. You want to copy the color code if you want. I will still show you. The color code is uh, 2D0A6A. Okay, good. Please subscribe to the channel and uh, make sure you've liked this video. Drop your comments telling us what you're watching us. We would love to know. Now, once you have achieved this, the next thing you want to do is to go and import your image. So, for this, we are going to use this image. All right. We're going to be using this particular image for this now all you need to do is just to size this image up okay size this up and uh, after sizing it up use relative position to make sure it's on the middle you want to go to layer and uh, before we lock it up okay now let's just lock this up for now and after logging it up go to the draw tool okay there is a draw tool here so click on the draw tool Increase your pen size, increase the smoothness, and uh, the blur radius should also be increased. Then you click on the, the screen, just click on the screen, and you will see this. All right, I believe you can see this happening here. Now, click on this map uh, sign here to okay what you've done. So, this is the glow. This is simply how you create the glow. Very simple as that. So, after creating the glow this way, um, we're just going to position it here and look at what we're going to do. Go to color and let's change the, the color into something different. 
so we are going to click on this same purple we are going to give it a brighter purple click on it then you click on the plus button once again now let's make this brighter all right let's make this very brighter can you see that beautiful so increase this in size and um go to layer and send it to back so we are sending it to back to back all right let's increase it again shift it here all right so we can even go and make it more more brighter beautiful so everything is okay um we cannot shift this image so let's shift the image because we'll need a section for text so let's shift this image to this section and uh, shift the glow just behind directly behind it we can even increase it further in size position it like so and that after doing this what we are going to do right now is to make a copy okay make a copy of this and we are going to change the color to white let's make this to be color white okay awesome after changing it to color white we can reduce this a little bit in size and uh, go to layer and shift it to four also directly below the image of the person so this is where you shift elements um, you can click on this eight dots to shift your elements to four just on the next layer below after achieving this you can see that everything is well in place what we're going to do is to click on the check mark and uh, we lock everything up after logging everything up the next thing we want to do is to click back on the image of the person and um, go to color filters which is here let's make this here to to be around 94 all right let's check that we don't need much of it guys this as you follow the tutorial do well to subscribe to the channel thank you so much so let's check it out i want the purple to reflect on the image so i think 79 is cool we can now make sure that everything is locked up good so after achieving this um the next thing that we're going to do right now is to go to our text go to text and uh, on a new text we're going to write glowing look at my keyboard guys so we have glowing let's make this to be in capital letters okay bring it here so we're going to use um the baby's font this text now you love to increase this in size well enough increase it well enough in size and uh, as you increase it in size just go to line spacing okay to spacing sorry I know reduce the spacing a bit let's increase the size once again all right good so let's leave it to let's check minus 10 minus 9 is good and uh, we're going to copy this text right so copy and bring it down here we're going to leave this for now so click back on the text and uh, go to color and we're going to give it a gradient uh let's check which click on the plus button so we are first of all going to start the gradient here by clicking here and um, also clicking here to set the first gradient which is going to be a uh, yellow color so just take the pointer to where you can have yellow 
right then we are going to add a color so just click on this add button another color will add as you can see here so let's bring this one here and uh, click here and click here also to you know set the second color okay now so we are going to uh, give the second color which is this one click here and uh, click here so we are going to make this to be purple okay give it a little touch of that purple now we are going to add again remember I told you to add a color just click here so add here and uh, we're going to make this white then we click here and click here so let's make this to be white okay guys so we're going to click here and here to set the last color which will be blue okay so let's make this to be blue all right good so now let's change the color pattern um let's check this out okay so we are using the second now uh, we are using the first color pattern which is this one click ok so i believe you can now see what we are looking at okay. so um just increase this in size let's do some light adjustments here um let's shift this the blue is too extended okay so shift this here and click ok but then you can use any other color here you can just preferably leave it to um okay let me just show you what i mean you can either use a single color here we can go for yellow i believe you can see this in order to avoid complications we can just go for yellow if you don't want to use a gradient right all right so i prefer to go for this now after doing that um select this one edit it into thumbnail so i have thumbnail let's make this to be in caps and now remember we added a line spacing also uh, we're going to undo that line spacing we don't need that here so just reduce this in size and uh, position it this way all right but then i guess we can uh, we can increase the line spacing to make sure that the text covers the entire length of this okay good so what we're going to do now is to select the two texts mesh it up together after measuring it up we are going to do something with perspective tool here guys so go to perspective tool and uh, stretch this up stretch this this way all right then bring this down this is actually very simple okay look at the indications we send this up we send this down then we send this down this angle down now after doing that uh you want to click back here to enable the effect all right then reduce this in size click on the check mark and uh, reduce this in size so that it looks as though it's uh, sleeping on a wall i believe you can see that all right good let's increase this in size a bit i think that size was fine good guys now uh we're going to go to stickers then uh there is a certain arrow here i would love us to use guys so remember to like the video subscribe to the channel if you are new uh if you are coming to the channel for the first time give these videos a thumb up drop your, your comment i will be reading all right so we're selecting this arrow if you need this pixel lab also indicate in the comment section i will drop that uh the link for you but make sure you subscribe before asking now huh? yeah do well to subscribe before you ask for the link of this pixel app. now just tap your finger back on the screen uh, for this arrow to remain then we can uh, rotate it this way 
and stretch it also. Then we rotate it as well. Bring it here this way. Right. After doing that, go to layer and uh, shift this to fall to the back of the image. Good. So we are going to still increase this in size. Oh my goodness. Lock this up, all right? And bring this like so. Okay, good. Now go to your layer and lock this up as well. And then you will not want to go back to your gallery. Bring in this pixel up icon. Reduce this in size. Bring it here. So after bringing it here, we are going to rotate that arrow once again. Um, let's rotate. Good. After rotating it, you want to shift it upward. Shift it upward. All right. Right. Then go to this pixel app. Add it a shadow. Uh, reduce the blur radius. All right. Then offset the X to minus 12 increase this in size a bit and just position it here like so good after doing that go back to your shapes select this simple square make it uh, you know a rectangle and uh, bring it down here so as, as essentially what we're going to do here is uh, to change the color of this to purple okay then after changing the color to purple, you go to your text and write with pixel up. So green thumbnails with pixel up. With pixel up. Make this to four in capital letters. Increase this in size. Then you want to go to your font area and use uh, Bibas once again. So let's increase this in size a bit. So let's write create with pixel up. Create with pixel up. This should be in capital letters, guys. So, um, okay, good. So that's it, guys. That's that. Um, all you want to do now is to save your work, first of all, as a project because you would love to use it for your videos. Once you want to upload your videos on YouTube, you will love to use this kind of thumbnail. All you need to do is just to do some little editings uh, to fit your niche, okay? For this, this is a pixel app tutorial. That's why you see me using this uh, niche here. See me using the pixel app logo and even the green thumbnail, how to create with pixel app. But then if your niche is on the, how to grow your YouTube page, how to grow your Facebook page, make sure you bring in Facebook logos. Make sure you bring in the YouTube logos so that the thumbnail matches the content. All right. I'm hoping to see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you. And give this video a thumbs up. Looking forward to seeing you in the next tutorial. Thank you so much. And God bless you.